Speed. Action slate, please. Hello, I'm Karen Vandenbroek, and I will be reading for Susan. Okay. Because it's what you love. It's who you were born to be. And here you sit, thinking, well, Ricky Bobby? Well, Ricky Bobby's not a thinker. Ricky Bobby's a driver. He's a doer. And that's what you need to do. You don't need to think, you need to drive, you need speed. You go out there and you need to rev your engine, you need to fire it up, and you need to wrestle it down to the ground like a demon, demon cobra. And then when the fear rises up in your belly, you use it, and you know it's good. That fear, is, you know, you know that, can I start this again? Okay. okay. Yeah, just don't, take your time. Okay. Okay? Even though you're excited about sharing this, to yeah. encourage him, take your time. Okay, because it's what you love, Ricky. It is who you were born to be. And here you sit thinking, well, Ricky Bobby is not a thinker. Ricky Bobby is a driver. He is a doer, and that's all, all what you need to do. You don't need to think. You need to drive. You need speed. You need to go out there, and you need to rev your engine. You need to fire it up, and you need to grab a hold of that line between speed and chaos and wrestle it to the ground like a demon cobra. And when that fear rises up in your belly, you use it. And you know that fear is power because it's been there for a billion years and it feels good. And you use it and you ride, you ride it like a stallion horse through the gates of hell. And then you win, Ricky, you win. And you win for nobody but you. And you know why? Because men, because a man takes what he wants he takes it all. And you're a man, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> Thank you. What are the qualities of Susan? If someone were to dis describe yeah. Susan, you would say, what are her two attributes? Well, Susan is actually um, a rather shy person, but she's coming out of her shell because she really has always loved Ricky, and she's always wanted to be with him. And now, is she just can't hold it in any longer. She wants to tell him how great he really is, that nobody appreciates him. So she's loyal? She's and loyal and she's, yeah, she's loyal. She's, she's, um, she's finally got <coughs> a little fire in her belly. Okay. Now, if I asked you to create a physical movement, a psychological gesture that would show who Susan is, mm -hmm. Could you do that for me? Like any kind of gesture or something that, that sort of reflects that inner uh, Susan coming out. I think she's just, she's just so bottled up. She wants to pull it out this way and just tell him how much she, 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 she knows and she's in his court. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. Hey, speed slate, please. Hi, I'm Susan Shepherd Howell, and I'll be playing the part of Susan. Okay. Because it's what you love, Ricky. It is who you were born to be. And here you sit thinking, well, Ricky Bobby is not a thinker. Ricky Bobby is a driver. He's a doer. And that's what you need to do. You don't need to think. You need to drive. You need speed. You need to get out there, and you need to rev your engine. You need to fire it up, and you need to grab a hold of that line between speed and chaos, and you need to wrestle it to the ground like a demon cobra. And then when a fear rises up in your belly, you use it, and you know that a fear is powerful because it has been there for a billion years, and it is good. And you use it, and you ride it. You ride it like a skeleton horse to the gates of hell. And then you win, Ricky. You win. And you don't win for anybody else. You win for you. You know why? Because a man takes what he wants. He takes it all. And you're a man, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> uh, if you had a psychological gesture for Susan, what would that be? Um, in this setting, I think I would do this. I would reach out and grab and pull them to me so I make sure they understand what I'm trying to say, even if it's right up in the face. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Speed. Action. Sleep. 
My name is Julie Ellis, and I'll be reading for the part of Susan. Okay. Because it's what you love, Ricky. It's, it's who you were born to be. And here you sit, thinking, well, Ricky Bobby is not a thinker. Ricky Bobby is a driver. He's a doer. And that's what you need to do. You don't need to think. You need to drive. You need speed. You need to go out there. You need to rev your engine. You need to fire it up and you need to grab hold of that line between speed and chaos. And you need to wrestle it to the ground like a demon out of hell. You ride. You ride it like a skeleton horse through the gates of hell. And then when you win, Ricky, you win. And you don't win for anybody else. You win for you, and you know why? Because a man, he takes what he wants. He takes it all. And you're a man, aren't you? Uh, aren't, aren't you? She's underneath, she's dying to break out. She, she likes who she is, but she wants to be more of who she is. And she really likes that Ricky Bobby does it. He doesn't worry about it. He does take chances. And in this time right here, she's actually trying to use part of her inner self to encourage what she actually does love about him. Uh, psychological gesture. Do you have a psychological gesture for her? As um, she's climbing out of that shell. As she's climbing out? I think when I first start, maybe something more like grabbing at my hair, the old way I used to be, and then as I build to the middle, it becomes, I lose that, mm -hmm. and it becomes more forceful that way. So okay. What I do. All right. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Speed action slate. I'm J. Dustin Sanborn, and I'm playing the part of Ricky Bobby. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, or as our brothers in the South call you, Jesus, we thank you so much for this bountiful harvest of KFC, Domino's, and the always delicious Taco Bell. I just want to take the time to say thank you for my family, my beautiful, beautiful, strikingly handsome children, Walker and Texas Ranger, Tia, as we call him, and of course my Red Hot Smoking Wife, Carly, who is a stone cold fox. <laughs> Has an ass that, if you would rate it on a scale to 70, she would be a 69. <laughs> I also want to take, I want to thank you for my best friend, Cal Nutton Jr., who's got my back no matter what. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, we also thank you for my, fa my wife's father, Chip, who we hope that you can hear with your baby Jesus powers. <laughs> His leg is uh, starting to stink and the dogs just don't stop bothering it. Dear tiny infant Jesus. <laughs> Dear tiny Jesus in your golden fleece diapers with your tiny little fat balled up fists. <laughs> Dear eight pounds, six ounce, the newborn baby Jesus, don't even know a word yet. Just a little infant, so cuddly. Yet, somehow, omnipotent. We just thank you for all the races that I've won and the 21.2 million dollars. Loves that money. That I have accrued over the season. Also, due to a binding endorsement contract stipulation, I have to mention Powerade, which is a great flavor, and it cools you down on a hot summer day. And uh, we look forward to the release of Powerade's new flavor, Mystic Mountain Blueberry. Thank you for all your power and grace. Dear baby God, amen. <laughs> What are the first two things you would say about him? He's ambitious and kind of misguided. What do you mean by misguided? I think he, uh, I think delusional is probably a better word. Okay. Just because he, he follows one phrase his entire life and 
It's kind of a silly phrase. And what's the phrase? If you ain't first, you're last. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Um, if you had a psychological gesture, something, a physical action that you could do to sort of <laughs> connect with Ricky Bobby, what would it be? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Speed, action. My name is Brandon Snyder, and I'll be reading for Ricky. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, or as our brothers in the South call you, Jesus. We thank you so much for this bountiful harvest of Domino's, KFC, and the always delicious Taco Bell. Lord, I just want to take time to say thank you for my family, my two beautiful, handsome, striking sons, Walker and Texas Ranger, TR as we call them. Lord, I also want to thank you for my smoking hot wife, Carly who is a stolen cold fox. And if you were to rate her ass out of 100, it would easily be a 94. <laughs> Dear Lord, I just want to say thank you for my best friend and teammate, Cal Naughton Jr., who's got my back no matter what. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, we also thank you for my wife's father, Chip. We hope that you can use your baby Jesus powers to heal him and his horrible leg because it smells terrible and the dog's starting to bother with it. Dear tiny infant, <laughs> Dear tiny Jesus in your golden fleece diapers, with your tiny little fat balled up fist. Dear eight pound, six ounce Jesus. Newborn baby Jesus don't even know a word yet. Just a little infant so cuddly, but still so omnipotent. We just thank you for all the races I've won and that 21.2 million dollars. Love that money <laughs> that I've accrued over this past season. Also, due to a binding endorsement contract that stipulates I mentioned Powerade at every grace, I just want to say the Powerade is delicious and it cools you off on a hot summer day. Um, we cannot wait for Powerade's release of Mystic Mountain Blueberry. Thank you for all your power and grace. Thank you, baby God. Amen. <laughs> to be a race car driver. So just that was just your first dream was just yeah, racing? Okay, and if you had a, a psychological gesture to key into the character, um, what might it be? I don't know, probably just like slow clap or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank